Okay, good morning. Welcome to Memorial 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 774. 774. Memorial 774. So today is Pi Day. Yep. And uh, I thought it would be fun to look at a, um, a really neat number. Uh, it is e to the square root of 163 times pi. Hmm. Okay, and what's what do you see about this number? What do you notice that's interesting about this number? It's, it's almost an integer. Okay, what do you what do you? It see? has a, like a bunch of consecutive nines right after the decimal point, so it's like really close to being an integer. Yeah, it's really close to being an integer, which is which is incredibly surprising. Um, and in fact, just for fun, like here's here's the integer below it. Yeah. Uh, and then here's the continued fraction for for our number e to the square root of 163 times pi. It starts out with this giant integer. What does that represent? It's the number itself. Or it's, it's, the, it's the, the integer part of the yeah. number. It's, it's the, the integer part, part of the number. number. Okay. And uh, then we have the first approximation, um, which is just uh, one. It just tells us that, yeah. that this is that the inverse of this. Uh, part after the decimal point. When you flip it over, you, it begins with a 1. Why, why is that, by the way? Why is the inverse of this number, uh, the first digit, a 1? Well, because this is really close to an integer, so... Uh, could be. Well, point nine 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 nine. you know, whatever, 2500725, zero, zero, when I flip that over, why do I get a number that's uh, that begins with a 1 point something? Because it's it's less than 1, but really close to 1. Okay. So when mm -hmm. you flip it over, you'll get something more than one, but really close to one. Okay. Yeah. What would what's an example of a number that when I flip it over would start with two? Like one mm. half. Well, yeah. How about why don't you give me a decimal number that would when I flip it over it would start with a two? So you could do zero point like five four three or something. Uh, all right. Well, let's check. Uh, 1 divided by 0 0.543. That's 1.84. Oh. So you have to go. So you have to go less oh, less than one half. Right. So you have it have to be like very close to one half. So like maybe 0 0.45. 0 0.45. Okay, let's check that out. Hey, okay, 2.222. All right, nice. Uh, when will they start uh, having threes, starting when with three? When you reach one third. Okay. When you go less than one third. Between, it's between one, one third and one fourth. Okay. Yeah. All right, so there you go. Um, so it starts with a one. Am I still on camera doing here? Mm -hmm. Okay, but then the next number here is, let's see, thousands, million, billion, trillion, one trillion. And so what, what do you think that number being so large is telling us? The, the second, essentially the second number in the continued fraction. I mean, it's really the third, but the first one is just the integer part. What do you think that number being so large tells us? Well, there's really like not a good approximation after this. So the next good approximation is really far away. Okay, that's true. That's one thing it tells us. What do you think it tells us? It might tell us that it's it's really close to an integer, so maybe a, a like small approximations won't work very well. Okay. Yeah. So it's telling us that um, essentially it's telling us that this is really close to an integer. Okay. okay. And uh, this is a real surprise that this number e to the square root of 163 times pi is really close to an integer. And I, I believe, I don't know the full history, I think this was first noticed by Ramanujan, actually. And it's really, there's something special about this number. So obviously if it was Ramanujan who noticed this, uh, that wasn't on Mathematica. Yeah. Right. So, but I, what I would like you today to do, uh, independently of each other, so one person can go first, one person can go second, is to find another number involving pi that's really close to an integer, or, or maybe has a really large continued fraction component, maybe somewhere down the line, so maybe it's really close to not an integer, but a rational number. Okay. Okay? So just play around and see, see what you can find. All right. Um, and uh, then we'll see. Okay? All right.